A lot of people ask me what brand or what style of mounting hardware I use for my scopes. And uh, you'll see right here these bases I put on. They're the dual dovetails from Leupold. Same with the rings that I'll use. You get the dual dovetail rings. Uh, they work best for me, for what I do, what I use. Leupold makes amazing mounting hardware. If you go and see how they actually do it, uh, you'll understand why it's so good. And you've seen me on other videos lap the rings. And Leupold has these really, really almost, not microscopic, but very, very small, uh, I don't know if you'd call them creases or ribs or edges in here. And the idea behind that is that you're going to get really, really firm adhesion uh, when your scope sits in here. When the tube of the scope is in here, it prevents the need from having to lap your rings. Because sometimes when your rings are set in here, they're not perfect so that, I, I'm gonna over exaggerate here, but maybe they're cockeyed. One's perfectly perpendicular to the, the scope and the plane of the rifle. And one might be tweaked in a little bit. Yeah, I'm way over amplifying that but you know that it's putting pressures on places. In the old days, before we had really good rings like these ones from Leupold, the way that you got rid of those pressure points is by lapping the rings. I got a lapping bar, lapping compound. And so the places where it would be binding on your scope tube, the lapping process would kind of smooth that out so you'd get this really smooth fit. It's paramount that you have your rings lined up perfectly. I get that as close as I can, but I'm going to show you how I adjust it. And make sure you have a really strong gun vise before you start doing this. All right, so what I'm going to do, lay my tube in there and see. Yeah, pretty close. Very close, but here's the way you really know. I set that bar in there. This is a lapping bar. It's uh, my first brush at it. I can see this one needs to come back just slightly. Okay. Now, here's what'll really tell you if you're lined up, okay? You got these two, these are called alignment bars. So if you end up with one of them up higher or lower, or one left and one right, guess what? You're not lined up properly. You've got the bottom of your rings are not aligned in parallel and they're not perpendicular to your shooting plane. You see that? That tells you that my rings aren't lined up perfectly. If they were lined up perfectly, these two points would touch right on the very tip. So that's why you want a good alignment kit. And this whole lapping scope mounting alignment kit from Wheeler just solves these kind of problems. So now you can see I've adjusted this and that's about as close to perfect as you're gonna get. Now this is a perfect line. It almost looks like an X where these meet. And when you got old eyes like I do, I always put a piece of white paper underneath there for the contrast to tell me where we're at. I think I'm about as close to perfect as I'm gonna get. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these rings, I'm gonna pull the tops off here, obviously. Take my alignment bar out of there. And then I'm gonna drop this scope in here. Very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my eye relief. And then I'm going to put the rings back on. And then you're going to see that I have a whole bunch of levels. I have a leveling kit from Wheeler. And the idea is that you want to get your rifle and your shooting plane perfectly vertical. And if that's perfectly vertical, then when you put your level on here, it'll tell you if you're getting off vertical. And then you put another level on there. I even put a level here near the action. 
I have a level there, there, and out here. And I'll level everything because what you're trying to do is to make sure that your crosshairs are perfect. You don't want to have a cant to your crosshairs, right? Because if you're using things like I do, like the CDS dial, your dial is set for a, a ballistic trajectory that's perfectly vertical and you're slightly canted, it's going to be different. Same if you have an MOA mill type situation. You want to have this thing mounted absolutely perfect. Perfect vertical, perfect horizontal. And the way to do that is right here. Wheeler has it. It's slam dunk. So anyhow, that's what's going to wrap this up. I'm going to do this. I got about oh, three or four more to go. And then I'm going to go out to the range. Thanks for watching.